Hello. Hello, everybody. I am going to give you some tips and even sing you a song. <laughs> get excited for lesson 83 for math. We get to do our count by 11s. 11s are super easy, you guys. I think you you can see the pattern, right? You have one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and so on and so on. And so you get to nine, nine, and then it's one, 10, one, 21, one, 32. But I can also sing you a song about your count by 11s, which I'm going to do right now. It's to the tune of if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So it goes like this, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 110, next comes 121, and now we're done. Except you also have to do 132, so you're almost done. Um, if the song helps you, sing the song. If it doesn't, don't sing the song, but do memorize your count by 11s. Okay, the next thing I want to do with you is I just want to remind you about when you have an addition problem, the numbers that you add are called add ends and the answer is called the sum. Add and add and sum. Add and add and sum. Okay, and when you have a subtraction problem, the top number is called minuend, the number being subtracted is called the subtrahend, and the answer is called the difference. Minuend, subtrahend, difference. And um, do you remember that you should be writing in cursive on your math papers? I want to do this fun subtraction problem with you because I love these problems. We get to yell a lot in these problems. All right, here we go. This is a subtraction problem. So we ask, is the big number on top? No, regroup, cross off the one, Leave it as a zero, put a one in front of the zero so that it becomes 10, but does that help us? No, cross off the 10, leave it as a nine, put a one in front of the zero so that it becomes 10, but does that help us? No, cross off the 10, leave it as a nine, put a one in front of the zero so that it becomes 10. Whew, we can now finally subtract 10 minus one, nine. Is the big number on top? Yes, subtract nine, five. Is the big number on top? Yes, subtract nine, five. This is a zero, so we just leave that up there, right? The answer is 559. Um, also, I want to remind you about how to do um, these fractions, okay? We have whole number and we're gonna have a fraction number. I'll move this line down a little bit. When you have a problem like this, make sure you count up how many boxes are shaded completely. They might not be boxes, they might be triangles, they might be trapezoids, the shapes. Make sure you count up the shapes that are shaded completely. So here we have one, two, three that are shaded completely. And then you have to figure out how much of this one is, is um, shaded. And in this case, this one is two, one, two pieces out of the one, two, three are shaded. So we would say two of the three pieces are shaded. So the answer, I don't want this to confuse you here. The answer for this problem would be three and two thirds of the squares are shaded. Um, also remember, as the minute hand moves, the hour hand moves. Hour, use the numbers. Minute, count by fives. Um, that should be, should be good. Do your best, and if you get stumped, ask mom and dad for help. Okay, see ya.